A few months ago, I made this video. It provided the answer to a question that I'm sure many people had. It talks about two restaurants in the United States that use almost identical branding. In the West, there's Carl's Jr. and in the East, there's Hardee's. Almost everything about them is the same, but for some reason, they go by two different names. I recommend watching that video if you want the full story, but in short, they started as two separately owned and separately branded restaurants until Carl's Jr. bought Hardee's in the late 90s as part of a plan of geographic expansion. But as it turns out, Carl's Jr. and Hardee's isn't the only case where we see this type of branding. There's actually quite a few instances, but it appears that the one people are most curious about is checkers and rallies. That was easily the most common comment on that video, and possibly on this entire channel over the past few months. Look at all of these. I wonder if this is the same, or similar situation with rallies and checkers. Their situation is like Rallies and Checkers, that's the best fast food chain there is. Please do a video on them. Guessing it's the same situation with Checkers and Rallies. Wonder if you're going to do a Checkers and Rallies video in the near future. Now do Rallies slash Checkers. Can you do one of these with Checkers and Rallies? You should do Checkers and Rallies next. What about Checkers and Rallies? 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 I can keep reading these until the end of the video if you want me to. I have more than enough. But instead of just reading all these requests to talk about Checkers and Rallies, Let's actually start talking about checkers and rallies. They use two extremely similar logos. It's the exact same background with the name of the restaurant written over it in white. At the bottom in yellow, they both say crazy good food, but that's their newer logo. When we compare it to their old logo, yeah, it's still the same. I think it's pretty clear that these two restaurants are related in some way. So what's going on here? The answer is similar to the answer as to what happened with Carl's Jr. and Hardee's in the way that they started as two separate restaurant chains that decided to come together. But there are some key differences, one of the biggest being geographical. There was a pretty clear divide in the first case, with Carl's Jr. being mostly in the West Coast and Hardee's being mostly in the East Coast. Here, it's not as defined, but I'll do my best to piece it all together here. First off, both checkers and rallies are definitely more prominent in the East, though the exception is that there is a lot of both of them in California. The territory for checkers appears to be more in the southeast, around Florida, Georgia, the Carolinas, that whole area. And the territory for rallies is more the Midwest, meaning Ohio, Indiana, Illinois. But even in those areas, you can find some locations that use the other branding. And if you're from outside of these areas, it could be anything. You could have one or the other or both or neither. I put so much emphasis on this because the whole reason that Carl's Jr. and Hardee's joined forces was geographic expansion. The West Coast restaurant wanted to gain presence on the East Coast, but in this case, that wouldn't make as much sense, considering they don't have that same split in geographic presence. In fact, through their entire history, they've been competing in many of the same areas. Alright, let me take a step back, and take us all the way back to the beginning. The two companies have remarkably similar histories. The first Checkers location opened in 1986 in Alabama. The first Rallies location opened in 1985 in Kentucky. That's one year apart, in states that are not too far from each other. And even though this was over 30 years ago, there was still McDonald's and Burger King and Hardee's that were all giants and making it very hard to break into the industry. In both cases, they needed to find ways to separate themselves, and they ultimately ended up doing it in the exact same way. Looking at Checkers for a minute, before that first location even opened, the founder was involved in some Wendy's franchises. Through his experience there, he noticed that a large percentage of their sales came from the drive-thru, and that a large percentage of their sales involved the same few sandwiches. 
He applied this knowledge when forming his first checkers location by making it really small and having a drive through window on each side. It was able to be really small because it offered a much smaller menu than you would typically see and it completely eliminated the inside dining area. The entire concept was to have really low costs. We all know the term fast food and associate it with cheap food that you can order and pick it up really quickly. Well, Checkers took the concept of fast food to a whole new level. They were offering food cheaper and faster than all the big chains. Since they were saving money by using all these small locations and saving time by only focusing on a few select items, it wasn't long before they were offering a quarter pound burger for 99 cents and promised that they could have it ready in less than 30 seconds. Checkers wasn't the first restaurant to implement this strategy, but they really helped make it popular. And the competition from restaurants like this is partially responsible for the larger fast food chains taking their own measures to try to reduce the prices right around this time. As for the story of how rallies got started, it's almost the exact same thing. Instead of learning the lessons through a Wendy's franchise, they were learned through their initial restaurants. Unlike Checkers, they didn't start with this strategy, but they switched over to it very quickly. And by using the same methods, both companies were able to grow at a very similar pace. In 1989, rallies went public, meaning it was now traded on the stock market, and two years later, Checkers did the same thing. The reasoning is likely to provide funds for further expansion, and this is just my own inference, but we can see how expanding might prove to be difficult for the two restaurants being similar and having started so close to each other. Look at it like this. Checkers started in Alabama, and my guess is that if rallies didn't exist, they would have eventually made their way up to Kentucky and Indiana. But since that area was already claimed by rallies, they were forced into the corner over by Florida. And the same goes for rallies. I'm sure most of those southern states would have been a logical step at one point, but they mostly avoided them because they would have been forced to compete with an already established brand offering something very similar. Are you starting to see why they would want to work together, constantly forcing each other into different areas and taking customers? customers from each other when they do end up overlapping. They had the same goal and were using the same methods to reach it, instead of getting in each other's way, why not start working together? It's like when Woody and Buzz put their differences aside and work together to accomplish the greater goal. Sort of. In 1994, they finally started working together. They made a deal where they would take over some of each other's locations in an attempt to further separate themselves geographically and eliminate some of the competition on both ends. Through the next few years, they continued working together more and more. In 1997, Checkers tried to buy rallies, but the SEC wouldn't allow it. Some kind of regulatory issue that involved an accounting treatment? In 1999, they tried to do it again, and this time it was successful. The two companies were very similar in size, both right around 485 locations, and that's where they stand today. They spent about a decade competing with each other, and the last two decades together. Since the merger, the number of locations has decreased by about 100 in total. The Rally's locations have decreased, while the Checkers locations have actually increased, showing an increasing emphasis on the Checkers branding. So that tells the story of why there's two seemingly identical restaurants that go by different names, but the question that still remains is are they actually identical? Besides the name, is there any difference between a Checkers and a Rallies? And I'd have to say, at this point, no. They are exactly the same. They've truly merged the two restaurant chains into one. If I go to Rallies.com, it looks identical to Checkers.com. Here's the food section for Rallies, then here it is for Checkers. If I click on Hot Dogs on the Checkers site, I get this. And here's what I get from the Rally site. And if that's not enough to convince you, I've also found this frequently asked question on their franchising site. The question is, what's the difference between Checkers Drive-In Restaurants and Rally's Hamburger? The answer? Checkers acquired Rally's in 1999. Where Rally's was predominant in the market, the Rally's branding was kept. Checkers and Rally's have the same menu and serve the same exact food provided by the same distributors.
Support for both brands is provided by the Restaurant Support Center in Tampa. Even when these were two separate restaurants, they were remarkably similar, and now the two are identical. The only reason they're branded differently is because some areas know one brand better than the other. Let me know in the comments, was this the answer that you were expecting? It's a similar story as to what happened with Carl's Jr. and Hardee's, but as I said, still many distinct differences. The biggest of which may be the reasoning behind the acquisition. Completely different motivations, but both very logical. Also, let me know if you want me to look at any other cases like this, where a company uses extremely similar branding that seems like it's just there to confuse all the customers. These may be the biggest instances in the fast food industry, but there's others out there. And if you want to just quickly mention how much you love their fries, feel free to do so. You wouldn't be the first. I'd like to hear what you have to say. Thank you for watching.